Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 108, Power BI and Power Apps Portals. A part of the Power Platform alongside Power Apps Portals, Power BI is Microsoft's analytics and business intelligence tool. It allows you to create reports and dashboards over a variety of data sources, and it also has an out-of-the-box integration with Power Apps Portals, which we'll explore in this tip. Power Apps Portal supports the embedding of Power BI reports and dashboards. These are embedded using a special liquid tag. You can either craft this liquid tag yourself, or you can use the interface in the Portal Studio to generate it for you, as described in tip number 70. The Power BI integration supports three main types of authentication, Anonymous, Azure AD, or Power BI Embedded. To use the anonymous option, in Power BI, use the publish report to web functionality to generate a URL which is included in the liquid tag. It's important to note that anyone with that URL will be able to see the report. There is no security whatsoever. The Azure AD option is useful when portal users are logging into the portal with Azure AD and are licensed Power BI users. The report to dashboards will be rendered in the portal using the context of the logged in user. Power BI Embedded is the most common option for external portals. When you use Power BI Embedded, the portal users don't require Power BI licenses, and you can use row-level security within your reports to filter records to only those applicable to the logged-in user. However, you need to be aware of the licensing associated with Power BI Embedded, as it is separate from the per-user Power BI licenses. Before using the liquid tag, make sure that you've enabled the Power BI integration in the Portals Admin Center. If you're using Power BI Embedded, there's an additional configuration necessary in the Portals Admin Center. Plus, you need to ensure that security has been properly set up in Power BI. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 108 on Power BI and Power Apps Portals useful.